This is the Afro Perspective Podcast, the home of over opinionated young voices. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I really didn't know where that was going, you know? Like, you just ended, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, the independent woman that you've touched on so much already. No, let's, let's yeah, get yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah. So, true. the good, the bad, the single mother crisis. So we pretty much touched on the fact that as a single mother and there are some amazing ones out there, mm. it's, it's, it's a very hard job to do it all by yourself and you almost need, um, well you do need in a lot of cases, uh, that male energy to balance and to provide discipline at the very least um, and have that father figure. And if you don't, on a macro level, your child is more likely to end up in trouble, mm-hmm. is more likely to do worse in school mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and is also more likely to drop out of school which we already know what dropping out of school can lead to um, so I think this podcast has shown the importance of having a two parent balance at least a house a balance house. a it balance does, yes. um, of having the fathers involved in the children's lives because it's clearly very important from a statistical standpoint and before anybody says the statistics are trash because I know there's some people you saying the statistics are trash <laughs> when I said a few weeks ago that uh, black males more, nine times more likely to stop by a white male nobody had anything to say there everybody agreed with me yeah, so, so we can't argue, argue. We can't pick and choose <laughs> when choose we what accept. statistics we're, 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 we're just taking because yeah, it offends you and again as Sinatra said at the beginning we're not here to talk about your individual Trashing subjective too. scenario so if you're a single mother and you're raising your son and your son's going to turn out to be amazing good luck you did a great job um, but from a macro standpoint we have a problem in the black community with single parents and and we have to try and um, understand how some of the problems that we face in our community may be related to our family structure whether Mm -hmm. it's single parent whether it's um, dual parent whether it's regardless of how the structure is made up we have to try and understand these things Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so do you think the independent woman attitude almost pushes the man out because you know there, there's a saying and okay the independent woman sorry I don't mean to cut you yes you do <laughs> <laughs> yeah I do mean to cut you <laughs> the independent woman oh, attitude Lord. to one extent is um, beneficial in the sense of um in a world where we have white supremacy and in a world where the black woman is unprotected etc mm-hmm. there is a need to elevate the black woman there's a need to motivate the black woman there's a need for the black woman to be able to stand for herself especially because of the way that the black man has been held down okay so unfortunately the black woman has to play a little bit of an extra role in order to navigate the system because of how she can play it better than we can but i I sometimes feel that not that narrative pushes out the guy and what will happen is if you have say so say your mom's that independent woman Mm -hmm. um and your father wasn't around and you have she has daughters those daughters will take on what because their Rolled their mom's now That's, god right right so they're taking on their their, their, their mom's behaviors mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now if they meet a good man because this is what we haven't discussed if they then meet a good man and Are this they, good man say he comes from a two-parent household so he's seen how the balance between mm-hmm. a man and a woman is and they you know this good man and this this new girl mm-hmm. and they procreate and they have a child is the woman actually able to drop some of that independence in order to and allow and let the man lead allow lead, them just allow him to do his job yeah because what I tend to see is right, in that scenario right. it almost becomes toxic because they're not used they've never seen they're their not used to having a male yeah. yeah so therefore they don't know how to give in the give and take so they still feel like they need to be hmm, which means mm-hmm. you're allowing, not allowing the man to do his job so there's always this friction and eventually what happens when the man doesn't Great. feel wanted he leaves he moves mm-hmm. and he's like ah, scrap this and you'll go around and you'll find somebody else mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I think that is also one of the major issues with having the whole independent, independent woman scenario mm-hmm. is yeah, that definitely. it can lead to that that's kind I, of I agree. <laughs> and it, it, I it, it I agree also um, kind of adds to the single parenthood yeah 
like when we when we look at the statistics of single parenthood, it's an attitude. It it it's a byproduct of an attitude. Yeah, the same. I I'm going to do it by myself. Yeah, I can do it on my, yeah. by myself. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, so I don't yeah. need you. And as soon as you say this, I don't, like, need I don't you. think people understand the weight of those words to a guy. And you could say that we're treating guys like babies, but never. You say co-parenting is as much as it should be. Say that no, again. I think it's getting bad. <laughs> but I, don't, I, I think co-parenting is hard. So when you talk about co-parenting, I'm guessing you're talking about two single, two, yeah. different yeah. households. households yeah. I think it's hard, and I think that if both, if, but if I both think it, 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 it's it been work, an option can, that's been help. overemphasized. What co-parenting? Yeah, rather than so when a girl decides that yeah. We'll I've split up, child, but we're gonna split up. Yeah. We can, we can co-parent, co-parent and yeah. raise. That is an option that's overemphasized without oh. actual thought into the implications of co or of co-parenting in a separate ho- household. Being in a, I've said this in previous podcasts. Being in a different household from your children is problematic. It's, it I'm causes, sorry, it's problematic, it causes but, risks. But, but there's not much regard to that. Mm. There's not much it's, thought it's, into that. People so. won't like this, but. Again, I have examples. Like it, it's 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 I can only it's hard for me to father outside of my house. It's literally that simple. Yeah. Um, co-parenting is better than not co-parenting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think it's, it's, so, it's better than having an absent no, like father no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's also no, no, better no, no, than no, no, not let, having let, let, toxic let, scenario. Right, right. If we, if we say co-parenting, we're using the wrong terminology. The idea of co-parenting. What are you talking about? <laughs> When you say co-parenting, co-parenting is ideally a you balanced a, situation. A, yeah. As, right? yeah. The idea of co-parenting, i.e. okay, we're not going to be together, but you we'll can come share and see the, yeah, an equal responsibility. Yeah, you can come and see the kids or whatever. There's impossible. not much thought to the fact that you're going to want to move on and you're going to want a... And someone else is going to be in the household. Right? And, and, and then the, the guy is going to want to move on yeah, and he's going to get with a girl yeah. who he might potentially have the kids just, with. And now so the co-parenting <laughs> gets a little bit more complicated Sketchy. because there's mm. kids, there's other kids involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when we talk about co-parenting, we're not just talking about the fact that we have two kids together and we're going to have to communicate and mm. whatsoever. When we talk about co-parenting, we're talking about our values. Our values are going to have to be aligned, etc. We don't think about them things. We just think about the fact that we have two kids together and you're going to see the kids on Saturday and Sunday or whatever. That is our day, our idea of co-parenting. Our idea of co-parenting is primarily based on contact. It's not based on values. It's not based on... Um, mm-hmm. the actual fabric of parenting it can be mm-hmm. it can be but it's rarely if, yeah it can be uh, if, if the situation isn't toxic I think if the situation no it's not what? about toxicity it's about right. compatibility it's about well, okay, it, political well, compatibility one, com- one, one leads to the other <laughs> no, 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 no. toxicity toxicity is a part of I wouldn't even say a part of toxicity is an exception of co-parenting. Okay. That might be overrepresented, overrepresented in certain com- communities, but nevertheless, co-parenting is not about toxicity. I didn't say it was. I'm saying it can that can come it, about. It, it can come about, but nevertheless, the toxicity comes from our attitudes towards co-parenting agreed mm-hmm. our attitude towards relationships our attitude towards reproduction agreed yeah I, I don't and deny that come full circle back. yeah yeah it's kind of what I was saying yeah so, mm-hmm. so we kind of come full circle back but nevertheless when it comes to the day to day values and everything are we compatible are we aligned yeah I think regardless yeah if you're having children with somebody those are the things that are actually very important because you want to you want to know that whether you're around or not that you're you're aligned with the other person yes. so you know how your children are being raised yes. and then when they come your children come to you it's kind of the same thing and when that doesn't happen that that's where the problems problems lies. problems yeah. yeah so yeah i think well that's one of the things you can take from the podcast yo look at the person's values and that's the conversation because you never know how the relationship's going to go if even if you mm-hmm. do get married and you, you know you try and mitigate as many risks and issues as possible if your values and your political values are off, and, and off, finances yeah. off, whatever is off those are going to cause you problems later on 
Yeah, I think the problem is you don't really have these conversations. Uh, no, all right. So is it better to stay in an unhealthy relationship to raise children? Um, was the last point. So I'll hand it over. What do you guys think? Start. We'll start with Charlene. Um, a, that's Char- your name's not Charlene. Are you called Zoya? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen situations where um, I would consider, obviously. I've not experienced it personal first hand, Mm -hmm. but I would consider um, the fact that a relationship that on the outside doesn't look that great and they're raising children, but they're still together. Only on, again, it goes to the family structure on the standpoint of having the father there because it's sons. So they've stayed together for Mm -hmm. the sake of if the father was to not be in the house, one of the sons are already going off the rails anyway. So they stay together because of having the presence of the father in the household. So that he's there when the mom's not around to keep him in line. And I've seen that, and that's the only reason why said couple are still together. So on that standpoint, personally, it looks unhealthy on the outside but they've made this decision to be in it for the sake of the children I think that decision is a very righteous decision (laughs) I think that decision takes um, a lot of gusto okay let's be realistic that decision takes accountability as two people that um, laid down and produced a child Mm -hmm. right so now you're looking at your children and you're putting your differences before your responsibilities mm-hmm. because your differences in most cases are likely gonna be carry on carry on carry on <laughs> your differences are gonna be lightly um resolvable whereas the consequences of far outweighs forever, it forever yeah forever they're forever so <laughs> we don't get on because of this that 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 but most of the time it's down to issues like communication lust greed um selfishness etc whereas where your kid's concerned if your child's going to turn out to be a gangster or whatever Mm. it's it far outweighs it far outweighs that so when you hear your grandmother and your aunties and whatever say we stay together for the sake of the children yeah I've heard no, that which is the biggest question that we need to be really asking them should should you stay together for the sake of the children hmm. if there's no immediate or flight risk involved okay so if if, if there's no immediate danger to yourself so if it's not like if a, there's if no it's not immediate an, like danger to toxic yourself scenario, and you are disagreeing because he's too lazy or whatever should you not find a way because when when, when we think about the union if you decide you're going to have children to somebody right you're supposed to be in a position where your family is supposed to com- be able to communicate etc so it's not necessarily just about you two as a couple i feel like the problem in our community is communities aren't raising mm. not even communities but even much less family uh, between two people if we can't get on our family is broken okay mm-hmm. yeah so our couple issues i.e we don't necessarily get on but as a family our children relish the idea of a family our children relish the idea of the union mm-hmm. But because we are not compatible as a couple, even though we were compatible enough to lay down and produce a child or children, mm. that's not good enough. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm. we're prioritizing the wrong things. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. Um, I agree with most of what you said and most of what Charlene said. I've mm. seen. I have seen um, grandparents in particular who said that you know they only stayed together for the children, and then when the children got big. They went and did their thing, mm. and I really respect them for that. And when you oh, look at the children that they produce, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not. I would, I wouldn't have raised it if it wasn't the case. Um, 
obviously the flight risk I'm glad you raised that because obviously there's some scenarios where people are in danger or there's, there's behaviours that you just mm. don't want around your yeah, children yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, all of those have to be taken away um, safeguarding for children and whatever parent it is um, I suppose my only issue with that is if one of the parents is a bad example so they're not necessarily a flight risk mm. or danger but they're a bad example so say you have a f- let's use dads because it's easier um, father just lays around or at home doesn't know anything but, but play computer for example mm-hmm. and you're raising sons and you don't want your sons to go see that, that way thing, yeah saying that you should have not you should have been able to see that from the Trump beginning not given too much accountability because again yeah that should have been a very obvious trait yeah that should have been a very obvious trait what are you doing breeding something <laughs> 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 you got no manners. Why are you doing breeding to a man that you can clearly see yeah. that this guy yeah, to be can't fair, that look after been himself? Yeah, that he don't there. do nothing. He sits on his computer game because he wasn't. It's not. He must have been doing a case of time. after yeah. you got pregnant. You just sat on the computer. computer. Yeah, no, yeah. he was doing this before you decided to breed for him. So come on, take some form of accountability. Okay, we're gonna disregard that from the records then. And in that case, uh, it sounds like we're pretty much all in agreement. I think I would. Having three boys, I would stay together to raise those boys, mm. irrespective of issues. Or at least you would make the effort beyond, or at least to ensure that you preserve the possibility of raising your boys in a in an environment that's balanced, especially knowing yourself as a man. Yeah, well, just. That's think, just me, but I um, think a general attitude in our community is oh yeah, because of the whole single mother narrative, yeah, you can do it by yourself. Because of the whole waste man narrative, you don't need the waste man. It's almost like there's too much that's pointing towards the negative direction, whereas there's nothing that's pointing towards accountability. There's nothing that's pointing towards saying to the man them you know what you need to step up mm. there's nothing that's pointing to the woman them to say you know what yeah yeah he might not necessarily be um in the best place he might not necessarily provide but at the same time he has got the potential and this is not me trying to excuse the man them or whatever but there's nothing mm. that's diminishing the role of the male because of the the, the narrative that diminishes the role of the male the narrative that has the male as somebody that's disposable mm. the woman then almost feel like yeah I can so, get pregnant and, and then I can I can dash with this man and I'll be alright which because guess what leads to a lack of respect which yeah. is another problem <laughs> There's not enough respect. If, if you for think the that a man can just be dashed away, then there's, can just there's not res- there's no away. respect. To... Like, I don't care about you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Go, I, I, and um, when we look at certain social media trends, guess who's the most popular man right now? On social media. Who? I don't know. The step daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when it fun. comes to meme culture, yeah, step daddies yeah, they got are some, they got, celebrating. They, they got some step horrible up. step daddy memes. Yeah, I stepped up because you couldn't step in. You know exactly. <laughs> Does anybody? Day, so Yo, I've day. not seen one step more meme. <laughs> Do you know? Oh my gosh. No, we're talking though. No. Come to think of it. No, no. Yeah. I've never seen a single step meme. There's no step exist. Memes. And there's stepmoms out there, yeah. but stepmoms are completely disregarded. Yeah, that is a fact. Stepmoms are seen as like stepdaddy's done anything other than step in, step into another household. Step into like, another the household. The road dad could still be which, around. That's the funny thing. Which in it? most cases, and there's no disrespect to any man that stepped up because any man can end up, or at least any man is capable of being in that position. A lot of men can be good stepfathers. A yeah. lot of men can be good stepfathers, mm-hmm. but that is not something that's idealised amongst the man them oh, that's a fact no man mm. wants to um, if I know that I'm going to be a, or if I know that I've got the capability of being a millionaire I don't want to be passing my wealth to somebody else's son it's a very African way of looking at things but I hear you no, I, didn't, I didn't even think I'm about it that deeply no but I'm being honest I'm being honest 
Yeah, I, 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 don't wanna, I don't want to pass my wealth to my stepson. I want my son, my blood. I want Tyler to have, if I become a big selector and I become celebrated or whatever, I want my son, Tyler, my blood, to have that. I and if that. somebody else's son is going to have that, he can take that and he can give it to, the, to, to, to his side of the family, which is not going to benefit my family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a lot of men look at it that way. As much as we might not necessarily see it that way, mm-hmm. a lot of men think of it that way. Where is your legacy going? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, there's definitely a legacy part. Yeah, but yeah. that is literally yeah. your legacy. Mm. This is the Afro Perspective Podcast, the home of over-opinionated young voices.